stream or Mango video if you're watching me from YouTube. That I complain today is uh, Jeskai Yorian Humans. It's quite a wild one. It updated um, some weeks ago a modern challenge, and then I told myself I would have made uh, made a video with this deck. So here we are. All right, let's unpack this. We are a Yorian deck, so that's 80 cards. We play 26 lands with Cavern of Souls being very important one since our deck is mainly human with Esper Sentinel, Champion of the Parish. We have Thalia, Thales Lieutenant, Melee Mage, Adeline, and Imperial Recruiter. This card is very important for the deck since it's kind of a toolbox as a, in the way that there is a lot of one-offs in the deck. We have Magus of the Moon, Deputy of the Tension, we have Sanctifier and Vec, we have... Uh, Charming Prince, which can then like blink the Imperial Recruiter and go at it again. And of course we have Yorian that can blink the Recruiter again. Uh, other than Ether Vial, there's no more Noble Hierarch, because where deck is just guy only, but there's Ragavan, which isn't uh, the, the best thing in the world in this deck, since we only have Lightning Bolt as interaction. But um, sometimes Ragavan unchecked is, is great in every deck, so we're trying in this just guy Yorian humans too. In the mind of it, we have three Sun Baked Canyon and uh, just some um, uh, fast lands with the Inspiring Vantage and Seacrom Coast. White being very important, of course. Uh, Esper Sentinel, excellent if you're able to pump it with Talia's Lieutenant. And then, um, and then, yeah, there's also one cheeky Snapcaster Mage, which is uh, only good with uh, Lightning Bolt, so we'll see how that plays out. Opponents at three, your recruiter for Snapcaster Mage, and boom. You don't see any Mantis Rider in this deck, which used to be like a very important card in the uh, five color humans. I wanna say because maybe the mana base is a little bit worse, like this mana base here is a little bit worse. Also because Adeline is, uh, has just proven to be very strong in uh, every format from standard to historic to, to, to modern too. I mean, uh, we have seen humans top hating few uh, challenges with the five color version and he also had a couple of copies of Adeline. And a couple of copies of Mantis Rider. One's the Fairy, because why not? In some we have Lavinia, which is great against the Cascade cards, as well as Belcher. We have Wear, Wear Tear, very good against the Hammer Time. Uh, a second copy of Magus of the Moon. Now, Magus of the Moon are usually hated so much in the Humans deck because it just shut off completely your land. But this deck is different. We have Basic Plains and Basic Islands. So I assume that it'll be a little bit um, lighter on us. We have a couple of Sanctum Prelate, a couple of Auric Champion, and three Sanctifiers, one in the main. So that's a total of four Sanctifier, two Auric Champion to have against the Red Black deck. And then one Kataki. So yeah, this is the deck that we're going to be playing with. Buongiorno Gira, buongiorno everyone. We're going to the games with uh, Jessica Yorian Humans. Modern League. Alright, let's go. And later I'll be playing some Alchemy Esperone. Yesterday was my first day with the new format, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to go back. But first, some modern, because yeah, yesterday I went like mono alchemy, and I definitely felt like I was missing something. Yeah, there is a monkey in the humans, for sure. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, poultry. Yeah, Ad Adeline is very good, I agree. Adeline... Uh, Pumping, uh, making the humans that pumps the Talis Lieutenant has come up a lot in the story. And it's definitely coming up a lot here too. All right, on the play against Paper Boy. Paper Boy playing Magic Online, I respect that. All right, we need to have either Vial or, all right, I'll accept it, there is a Vial. Point with, with Lurus, so most likely they do not have access to Prismatic Ending, which is the worst enemy of Ether Vial, Prismatic Ending. Pull of Ragavans, although I cannot cast them. We have one Teferi, one Teferi, why, why not? Ooh, Goblin Guide! Alright, let's go, beat downs. Hey, what did I reveal? Phantasmal Image. Ah, unfortunately, not good enough. Since uh, I just had to pass the turn here. But we have Vile, that will, uh, will give us a lot of mana along the way. Images are not loading, that's weird. Alright. A um, couple of options here. I think I'm just going to play Ragavan to block. 
This one is not loading. This one is weird. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Come on, give me two lands, the Goblin Guides. Be nice with me. Be nice with me, Goblin Guide. No. Imperial Recruiter on top. But well, I can also take five and connect with Ragavan. And then I'll be able to go Lieutenant Image. Mm. And maybe I have to do that. And maybe I have to take five and then I just grow my people with the image and things. Although, uh, it's a tough game here. Uh, tough game here. If I block, I save two damage, which is relevant. Although, if I take five down to 13 and I play Ragavan, I've already made a land drop. I attack, then I get a treasure, and I can go Lieutenant Image because the bio's on two. And then I'm going to have... Uh, some larger creatures to block with, although they go. Uh, no, I think I'll have to. Uh, it's just a pretty terrible situation to me because I have an awful card on top of my deck. Really wish this was a just you know a red land. All right, let's try and take it. Good evening, Anderson. For me, it's morning. The sun is up. Very few clouds. All right. I'll getting the Ragavan down, yes. And then I'll, I guess I'll just see what I hit. All right, this one goes to two for sure. So maybe I hit, I don't know. But I feel like if I chomp there, I'm not really going anywhere. It's a shame, because I definitely had the hand to, uh, to stop all of this. All right, so the way you want to sequence this is you cast a Lieutenant. And then with the ability on the stack, you violate in the second one. Coping the Lieutenant. And uh, you get a 3-3 three, three and a 2-2, two, two, I believe. All right. It's not great, but I can block maybe. We'll see. A control deck is possible in alchemy. Well, I'm trying to play Esper. What's that? Lightning Elix? Uh, sure. The three cards and Lava Spike. Uh, okay, I got a 10 and then I'll take at least five. Come on, give me a land. What's this? Reflector Mage. Okay, I go to five. They have two cards in end. All right, this one goes up. Attack. I feel like, you know, if I traded there with Ragavan, I think I would have been like dead for sure. All right, there's a lightning bolt. Hello, a professor. All right, I can like bolt one of these things. I wanted to go reflector mage image. I can also go recruiter sanctifier and back. Do I have any life gain? I don't think I do. If I had um, I don't think I have any life gain with the with the recruiter. Yeah. Oh, I guess Charming Peg of Friends. Game 3 live. But then, like... Maybe Charming Peg of Friends is actually the thing I need to do here. Uh, maybe I can do that later if I don't die. Alright, so I can go Lightning Bolt on uh, the Monastery Swift Spear. And pass the turn. Put a nose of Reflector Mage. Yeah, the Secret Crew is definitely unfortunate. I could have cast lots of things if I. Alright, the Lava Spike me. I have two cards in end. Alright, I'm dead. Alright. Now draw a second land, it's tough to win. Alright, against humans, I have a... Sorry, against bird. 
I have Auric Champion and Sanctifier in back, as well as Santo Pelato. Take out the Moon, the Teferi, the Deputy. What else? There's no Castro Mage. Mm -hmm. What do I want to take out? Maybe one Adeline. I know, I know it's very good, but maybe you're just supposed to play these other stuff. First, now Recruiter gets your champ Charming Prince, which gains life. We can cut some Melee Mage. Can come maybe Regavan. Uh, no, Regavan, it's, it's strong. Yeah, let's go like this. Alright, on the play. Back in the days, we used to sabered out a uh, Mantis Rider in this matchup. Or a bit more lands this time around. Yeah, Ragavan is pretending to be a human today. Obviously, just having those type of lands is nice. Because you don't take any damage in this matchup. But if we had a fetch, then we could have got red mana and deploy way more stuff. I had a, I had a, I had a good time for sure, Professor. Alright. Ether Vials going up. Yes. Yes. Spell. Ooh, I like this. Although, I bought this immediately. I don't want to... Dirtle around. Pass, I'm gonna get a Hobbit Fountain tapped. I don't want them to like, you know, play multiple spells and I can't bolt. Sweet. No idling. All right, I'll play the Sanctu Prelate and see how they react to it. Yeah, the red blue thing is very, very good. Let's see how they react to it, because I'm going to go... Oh, wow, they just let me number. Yeah, number one for now, and then I can image a number two, and then my opponent deck will basically shut off, be shut off. Like They can only cast creature afterwards. Like, if they fetch here... A vile image, and now they can't cast ones because it's named, and now they also cannot cast two. So I think we put them in the squeeds now. This is not like Chalice of the Void. You just cannot cast the card. As a result, they just can't even target the image because if there's Chalice of the Void on one, you can still lightning bolt target image, and even if the lightning bolt gets countered, the image still dies. Yeah, definitely, Professor. All right, I cast Idolin, but I think at this point, things are just living away. I'll attack. Then I'll play the Lieutenant. The game is over, I think. Sanctum Prelate is somehow in uh, Modern, because it was like a buy a box promo from Modern Horizon 2 or 1, I don't even remember, I think 2, yeah. I'm not going to blink this uh, Sanctum Prelates. I'm gonna message Eli, because he like pushed for me to play with this deck so much, and now he's gone. It's like, it basically just did like deck donation, if it, deck donation isn't a thing on my stream. <laughs> All right, oh wow, Riff Bolt, I hadn't thought about it. Sure. Mm-hmm. 
Ether volume goes up. Hmm. I'll go ahead and uh, correct this thing. Play one of these. And this becomes three, this becomes four. Then they, gotta, they have to chum block. Bonjour, non, Gabrielle. There's fire, there's no fire blast in modern, which kind of makes you feel like always safe against burn in those spots. All right, now what do I do? Uh, maybe I should cut more Adelines on the draw and have uh, more medley mages. Yeah. I mean, Adeline isn't bad, but maybe on the draw is a little too slow. I think yeah, every other card in the cyber is pretty awful. Uh, Wear Tear kills Idola. I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's about it. All right, let's go. Mm, okay. Okay. Quite land at the end, but we have Lightning Bolt for the creature. Esper Sentinel, it's not all right. Ooh, the Mulligan into five. You love to see that. Four, 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 four. Okay, it stayed on five. Well, they admire. What's that? Swiss beer, okay. I go bold again, like like earlier. Thing is that if they go for Eidolon, do I wish to kill Eidolon? Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe I do. Yeah, I'll probably just go land go and change my mind. Because Eidolon I think is more important to kill, so I just even take the damage from the Swift Spear. Because earlier I felt like I didn't care about the Eidolon because I had the Vial. That's why I just killed the Swift Spear immediately. All right, uh, I don't think they play light up the stage, so I just let him hit me. If it was the other version, maybe. Oh, wow, they don't have a second land? Cool. Yeah, as for Sentinel, it would be nice then. Let's go for it. Put my gun to five on the play and kept the one lander. Let's see. Bonjour, no ally. All right, Searing Blaze. Okay, cool. Still draw a card. Take three damage down to 15. What do I draw? Secret Foundry. Oh, great. Okay, I have three cards. Hmm. Or a champion. Not bad. Uh, I think I want to go Sanctum Prelate for now. And I'll name... Do I want to name uh, one or two? I think I'll name two. If they had one, they would have like played something, right? I'm gonna go for two now. I don't know. Obviously, I have lightning bolt here. It sucks. I traded three mana for one, but I think it's cool. Could have also played Aura Champion. I know that. All right, they drew back to back land. They have Lava Spike, and they have Idolin, and they have Skewer the Critics. Oh come on, one and three. I just named two. All right, I'm still at 12 though. Hmm. I guess I can go Imperial Recruiter for like, I don't know, another Aura of Champion and just go double Aura of Champion the next turn. There are one card in end. Oh, you know what I can get too? I can get the, hmm. I also get one drop. So I can cast it now. Because <laughs> if I get Arc Champion, I have to like choke myself with Sacred Foundry next turn. I think I have Phantasmal Image. Yeah, maybe that's best. Yeah, I got Phantasmal Image here. I don't know. Let's be open to go Image on the Recruiter too. 
with that. That was Pike. The one card in end. Yeah, it's now time to to gain some life. I'm gonna go Oryx Champion. Then I'm gonna copy with the image. I guess I could have get could have gotten uh, Charming Prince to gain three life. Yeah, that should be the card. I, that was the card I should have taken there. What's that? What do you do? Lightning Elix. I already have no cards in end. <laughs> they have no cards in end, and they have two Hour of Champion in play with two Reflector Mage in end. Reflector Mage unfortunately cannot bounce your own recruiter. That would have been cool. All right, Canyon. I think we have it. I think we got the first. Gargaban. That's that shit. Get to life. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Raga, raga, bam, 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 bam. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. All we needed was our opponent to mulligan to five and not miss a second land. And that's the meme uh, of the child thumbing up. I basically like, since I since I quote unquote quit Facebook so long ago, I just don't follow the memes anymore. So all my memes are like super old, you know. I should follow like some, some, some like Instagram page with all the meme too. Okay, okay. I can give memes on Twitter. Nah. All right, this hand uh, is particularly strong. I. Somebody calls. Uh, somebody, somebody can call the shuffler. The tr the shuffler who's shuffling the cards. Uh, hello, Wizards customer service. I'd like to be in contact with the shuffler. Yeah, it's like, you know, supposed to get like three lands for a spell, not six or zero. Thank you. All right, land vial. Ah. Up. Keep. At least I can cast both of my cards, which is, you know, not guaranteed when you mulligan to five. The best page for Instagram is Channel Farvel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yesterday they did a very meme thing, a very cool thing with the uh, with the Karizev and Ragavan. I liked it. I sh I show the meme because I think it's worth it. Ooh, a vial. Huh, not bad. Actually, pretty bad. Tun 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 tun. Allora, channel. Fireball. Pass. This was the meme that they showed yesterday, which is pretty great. It's uh, Karizev, you know the meme of like an old lady on this thing. I used to be the premier red threat in multiple formats. And Ragavan with a sure grandma, let's get you to bed. Because the monkey of Karizev is much better than Karizev. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was a good meme. That's the Viable Request one turn late, classic. Prismatic ending, that's fine. Later did you know opponent, I had no creatures to play with it. Little did, little did you know. Ooh, Seacrum Coast comes into play untapped. For one mana, there's not a counter spell that can counter this. I hope, I don't know, poor Spike. I think monetize. I should not think Force Pack is legal in modern. It's not reprinted after what's like seventh edition. All right, what do I get here? Hmm, because I have the cavern, so I can kind of like if I have Palace Jailer. Can you please bring Palace Jailer to modern? I want to get a good humans. Like look, look at all these humans. Part Kamehameha, no schifo. 
All right. Uh, Snap Caster Mage. No, that's not good. Mm, do I just get another recruiter? Hey, I think I get another recruiter. Yeah. Pass me a top meme. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll check it out when I go to the bathroom later. Memes only. You can only check the memes at the bathroom. That's the meme rule. <laughs> Stefano P92 for the 14th month. So many months. Thank you so much, Stefano. Welcome, welcome. Recruiter gang into Lieutenant Goblin Matron. What? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think I was low rolling this cavern to name Bird Serpent and then blink on my recruiters. That's my plan. At least. Turu, turu, turu. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, Chummy Pepega Prince. I can blink a recruiter. Haha. -ha. No, I think we need. Uh, I think we need a Palace Jailer. Like, they just gave every deck infinite tools and they give the humans nothing. I guess they gave it Imperial Recruiter, but that's not even that good. Ooh, hello! Thank you for the big raid, the Maison Clark. Appreciate the raid. Welcome, everybody. Just uh, this past weekend, uh, I took a selfie with the Maison Clark. He was in Portugal, Lisbon. It was nice to meet you. All right, my opponent is playing. I think I'm just doing nothing over here. Yes, yes, yes. How was it? How was Portugal? Did you enjoy it? They gave you my Esper Sentinel. My Esper Sentinel is unplayable. You'd be like, but Mango, you play four. I know, but that's because I have 80 cards. I have to fill somehow. It was great. Yeah, right? I think I keep on doing the thing. And now, honestly, I just want to name uh, Bird. I want to name Bird. I want to name Bird. That's that's it. I've done it. I've named Bird with my with my other. Can you upload us going to see the sites? Can I upload us going to see the sites? Yeah, you can. You can do anything you want. My my image is public. As long as you don't, you know, post anything negative. You can do anything you want with my image. You know, memes. Oh, you don't want to bounce my recruiters? Okay. Esper Sentinel is only good if you play Commander, because it's basically a one mana draw 59, because no one is bothering paying the, the one. But other than that format, it's not, it's not excellent. Let's just put it that way. No, yeah, the monarch. The monarch's very cool. Are right, you just play tap land? Okay, cool. Draw. Land. Madly mage. Okay. I'll be attacking the fairy peperi with both of my humans. Aha, uh -huh, the fairy's dead. Dead. And then I think I want to play Charming Pepega Prince. Oh, actually, though. Now let's do. Let's play. Let's play Meddling Mage first. No one named Counterspell. And then I want to play Charming Pepega Prince. And Blink, our recruiter. And get a trigger again. What do I what do I get now? Boat. Uh, another recruiter? Marcus of the Moon. Ha, ah, kinda wish I had it named humans now. Hmm Tough choices. Tough choices. Can get a Thalia. I mean point is gonna probably sweep. Bah, when in doubt, just get another recruiter. We'll sort it out later. You're scared of verdict. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm scared of. Our opponent passes here. First thing I do is go into combat. 
and send the bata lost team. And in birdie, or as I can't double as well. Sorry to the GG. Okay. Solid to that. Okay. I'll bolt la solitudine. What do you name? Oh, this one. Ha! Ah, somebody is scared of my bird serpent up there. Oh yeah, you walked the walk the planes? That was so long ago. Yeah. It was definitely a great, a great, a great uh, yeah, kind of, kind of sad that they that they took it off. I mean, I guess the the person stopped doing it. But yeah, thank you, Slow Look. It's definitely a great thing. I agree. All right, now I have a choice between getting back the bird. Nah, I think I'll play Thalia. It's time to put a bird into your hand. You think so? I don't know. I feel like I like Thalia here. Is the one Zapcaster Mage in human? There is. There is one Zapcaster Mage, and there is a Bolt in our graveyard. So. That's a three mana deal, three damage, two one right there. All right, you play persist. Ay, annoying, annoying, and you exalt Alia. Uh, okay. Eh, <laughs> not easy. Mm mm mm. And you ephemerate this. Eh, they do this go anti. All right, it's not going well, chat. No bueno. No better for your friend to pengo. Look at them, they're just targeting all my recruiter up. So mean. Alright. Draw. Oh! That was bad. Wish I had a land that could have gone uh recruiter. And like Melly Mage to name Ephemerate. Invitional. They might they have ephemerate and come here, remember? <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, I'll uh, attack with both. And I guess I should have played this first, because now they can block the uh, this and have counterspell up. I probably don't block. Oh, wow, they do block. They don't block. Uh, uh, I'm going to go a recruiter. I don't know, Esper Sentinel? I just didn't think I have to do something now. Not that Esper Sentinel qualifies as something, but... Any tips for a good sacrifice deck? No, sorry. I prefer to play my permanents, not to sacrifice them. Okay. I kind of love how this game played out. I mean, I was a, I was a mulligan 2-5 and just played some Imperial Recruiters this game. What? Why did you shock up there? I thought I just shocked. You played that Shadow? What are they doing? All right, pay to one. Pay to one! They paid the one. Sacrifice tier one. Yeah. Pay, pay, did, you, did, did they pay the one? They, 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 uh, they did. Well done. Well done, opponent. Why did they get this card? It's just blank. It doesn't do anything. Basta! Stop! Stop eating my things! Okay. Alright, land, 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 land. What do I even do with the land? I don't know. Land. Ah, land. Okay, that's good. That's a good drop. I'm gonna go um, Imperial Recruiter. I'll go get the Talis Lieutenant. Right? Yeah. Or Metal Mage. I think Metal Mage is better. I think I like Talis Lieutenant. Because like, they have to trade. I think they probably have counterspell now. They don't. Hmm. Alright. Bataya! Bataya. Bataya. 
All right, what you do there? You block. Cool. I love this. You take this. Wow. Do they have three lands in hand? What's going on over here? They have nothing. They don't have anything. The ephemerate prick, because they have no creatures. I have five damage in play. Are we winning? E ending. Okay. You said image to copy their solitude. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that was also good. Adelina, that's lethal. That's lethal. We won this game. Sick. Sick. <laughs> Yori Grande wins. After four Imperial Recruiter, one fetch for another one, the second one fetch for the third, the third one fetch for the fourth, we got there. No, that's not true, actually. I think we drew one in the process. Ooh, that was a good game. All right, now, Lavinia, you come in. Sanctum Pelato, you two. I have no graveyard date in this deck. Wait, I have no graveyard date? Oh, I mean, Sanctifier and Vex kind of is. Yeah, Pump Plus Persist. You come all in, Sanctifier and Vex. All right, as always, I'm gonna take the action of taking out Magus of the Moon. What about Deputy of Detention? Probably too. Teferi Feberi? Nah, I'll keep it in. Reflector Mage? Uh, yeah, maybe not great. I guess it's not bad against Archon of Cruelty. I'll do to do that, I'm probably dead. Does this exile a graveyard? No. It's too old. New cards now always exile graveyard whenever there's an option. This is like too old, I guess. All right, I mean, I'm just taking out a card, all right? I don't know. Don't ask me what I'm doing. Don't ask me what I'm doing, chat. Now, Bolt is good because they have ephemerate things. All right, I have to cut a card. 81. One. Too many. Sanctum Pelato? No, I think I want to keep Sanctum Pelato. You want to go Bolt? Uh, but, like, they can go... I uh, think you think it's... No, nah, they can go, like, Solid Shit and Blink, stuff like that. I think I want Bolt. No, I think I would have an image. No, no, probably the image was great. Anyway. <laughs> Whatever, I have 80 cards and you can just click sideboard cards. It's fine. We'll sort it out. All right, great hand. Vamonos. Vamonos. And I want to highlight a cavern of souls named Bird. Basically, a colorless land the whole game. Put a mulligans to five. Woohoo! Yes. Four, 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 four. All right, they kept on five. Marsh Flats. Do you do the thing? You don't do the thing. Elora Regalon. Ooh, actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Esper Sentinel here. Human Esper Sentinel. So points. Mulligan. Yeah, I wouldn't cut image as well, but. It happened. Oh wow, they didn't fetch Andrew the land. I think they got rewarded. They got rewarded. Wow, that's not a monkey. Okay, I guess I'll dashing through the snow. I'll be dashing through the snow here. Come on, let's get uh, like a Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize? Thoughtseize? Archon of Cruelty. All right. Glad that's away. You can cast your draw to this card too. No, you don't. Okay, cool. They don't have the, the draw to discard too. What's it called? The uh, Fateful Mending, I think it's called. On a monkey driven slate. Oh wow, is that is that something? <laughs> Dashing through this no. Prismatic ending. Oh, Fateful Mending. All right, cool. Draw card. I love to draw cards. <laughs> This is Gasper Sentinel, it's always great whenever the opponent's unlucky and they just mana screw it and you just you just Esper Sentinel is like the people that enrich when other people are poor, you know what I mean? Like those type type of people. 
You have a not round twenty for Ragavan in this deck. I mean, I think Ragavan is more of a meme, but obviously it's a good card. If you have it, great. If you don't have it, maybe just I don't know, sixty cards. I'm not sure. I I don't, I don't know. I don't think this deck is particularly strong or anything, but it's definitely fun. Oh Lord. Um. Because Lavinia, what does it do exactly? Oh, they have a Cruelty Archon here. I think they're about to hit me with the Archon. Lavinia, let me read this again. If you put it, can cast no creature spells. Might have a greater than the number. Like, this one only counters the backside of Ephemerate. Maybe... Now, maybe I, I want to go... Alright, you know what? I'll just attack and play Ragavan, play Teferi Pulse. Yeah, that's my plan. So that if they reanimate Darkon, I have a Teferi Steering at it. You know? You go Archon, alright, I suck a Monkey. And I, I can bounce the Archon whenever I please. That's my plan. Dashing through does no. Yesterday, my teammate in cube, Alfredo Nazeo 9, first picked Ragavan. That was a. I don't know. Interesting first pick, because, like, elves are very popular in cube, so, you know, that matchup is not amazing. I don't know. Anyway, they've got three cards with an Archon in the graveyard. And they persisted back. Uh-huh. Okay. This is all going according to plan. Well, sacrifice a Ragaban. And discard a Ragaban. Do you have uh, Ephemerate? If you have Ephemerate, I'll sacrifice the S percent and I bounce this. So, I'm good here. Unless you give it haste now. One mana, expedite something. Expedite, I think it's called. One mana, give something a haste, draw a card. And then, boom, get in. Kill everything. Ephemerate. Okay, it's fine. We played around this perfectly. Perfectly. All right. Um, I think I'm discarding Lavinia here, because the Ephemerate is now, doesn't have any target anymore. Because I bounce this, then I can't cast anything in up in upkeep uh, with the ephemerate. Bueno, bueno, bueno! Allora, let's go um, champion and let's go lieutenant. It's time to apply that pressure. Top land, c'est à toi. C'est à toi, Eugene, buddy. They have four cards, one of which is an Archon of Cruelty. Yeah, exactly, you have to fear it to stop the ephemerate. Plus, they can't cast anything in upkeep. Faithful Mending, okay. Wait, you're gonna go... Oh, no, they have the Archon again, another Persist? No, come on, no, 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 no. Don't Persist me. Don't Persist me. Please. I right, have three cards in end. Don't Persist me. Please. They fetch, so I think it's just flashing back the faithful mending. No, no persist. No, Kabatoska! Aloha, what do I suck here? Do I suck to fairy? No, no, Madonna me, I'm coming. Alright, I lost. I lost. I lost. Come on, Phantasmal Image. Phantasmal Image, please. Phantasmal Image one time. Phantasmal Image one time now! I lost. Good game, opponent. Good game, Eugene's buddy.
Maybe I remove the Trammy Pepega Prince for a 3rd image. Yeah. Alright, I have 4 Sanctifier in back. I need to draw that. Effect from Mage. Yeah. Alright, come on. Yeah, Gore's Vengeance is good with Grizzly Brand. Persist is good with Archon of Cruelty. On the play. Yo, Yon. Hands fine. Can't complain. Got my bird. Got my Esper Sentinella. And, um, I mean, we'll see what happens on, on their turn one. But my Madly Mage can name uh, Faithful Mending, maybe. <laughs> or just straight up persist. Or maybe I should play Talia's Lieutenant first. Yeah. No, I think I want to play this on Persist, so that I can't go like Solitude Persist. <clears throat> Mark Grave? Nah. Containment Priest, that's a good suggestion, yeah. Could then for stops your vial, but yeah. I mean, I have the Sanctifier in back. That's already like the Graveyard 8. I have four copies plus four, your recruiter. All right, you have uh, the Exile effect. Oh, you have the Priest of Fell, right? Oh, wow. Sanctum Pilato. Huh. That's a cool card. That's a cool card, Sanctum Pilato. Do I cast it? Cast it in name two, I think I like that. Put on deck is basically mono two drops. Offer the trade first. See if they take it. Mm, they don't take it. Then I go planes, sanctum pelato. Two. And now they can't go faithful mending or a market grave to reanimate. Yeah, this one stops a lot of things. Of course, they have Teferi to bounce the Prelate or, imp um, uh, sorry, what's the other one? Prismatic Ending on X equal 3 to exile the Prelate. But still, I just recast it if it's Teferi. That was a very good draw. That was a very good draw. Esposan then just chilling for now, but later I can pump it. Maybe I can attack with the opponents on 13. And then we have to fear in case they reanimate somehow. Like Entomb. No, Entomb is not in the format. Faithless Looting is banned. So, I don't know. I don't think they can. I mean, their deck is supposed to play Chalice of the Void, so they don't have that many one drops. Maybe like. Alright, they go Solitude. Oh, Ephemerate. Solitude Ephemerate here. Yeah. Yeah, that's excellent. <laughs> or they can go just Solitude without Ephemerate and, uh, and that ex to Exile the Prelate. Yeah. All right, please don't don't ephemerate. They have it, yeah. Yeah, that's what they have it. All right, it's other priest of fair rights, and they have ephemerate too. Yeah. I could have like exiled the Esper Sentinel first. Maybe they're just interested in hitting those two, which makes sense. Yeah, I lose everything. They could have also just reanimate these without the without the ephemerate. Yeah, ephemerate. What a bomb. What a bomb. Very strong. Hmm. 
Right, so this one is out the prelate, this one is out the sentinel. Cool. So I just have a melee mage naming persist. Not great. Adeline. I think I want to go to Fury Bounce this. So that they can't um, cast Ephemerate anymore now. Those want to attack, related back to block. Yeah, I think attack. So having a three to life link, like now they have to have like, like it could cast Solitude and they're reanimated, but you know, it's not like as bad as just getting a free Ephemerate. They have to pay 3 life with a priest, they're already, already on 11. Let's see what they do now, 2 mana with that. Okay, there's a magic game there, sure. Oh, they missed click! No, sorry, never mind. I saw x equal 1, I was afraid for a second, but yeah, that's a converge way to, to work. Okay, I'm gonna get a land here. Alright, come on, draw something good. Draw something good. Something good? Something good. Something good, please. Put us on five uh, on five cards in hand. They have one solitude, but not that many lands to work with. Coven of Souls. All right, not great. Uh, let's play Talos Lieutenant, followed by Adelina. To pump the Lieutenant. Pass. We share the Mantis Rider, I guess, here. Hey, you can misclick Captain Obvious. All right, they have the Archon. They have the Archon. They have the Archon, and I need to top deck. Come on, I can do it. Come on, I can do it. I can do it. Top deck, Mango, die. Die, Mango, top deck. Come on, Imperial Recruiter. Boom. Now. Ah, fanculo. <sighs> yeah, lost. Uh, I didn't draw a single recruiter all or, or uh, sanctifier and back in both of the post cyber game. Close game though. I really thought a game two was mine, and then they just said double pair. I'll persist a number and uh, and faithful mending. And this deck can't really be double pair. It's okay, Ray. Right? Have another turn. Come on, I can do it. Image or recruiter. Ah yeah, boom. Actually, image wasn't even good anymore because it just sucked at the fear. All right, it's okay. Close game. I enjoyed it. We got Sanctifier and Vec, but of course playing 80 cards you're less likely to draw your your cards. I mean that's how magic works. The more cards you add. I mean people play four Sanctifier and Vec in their humans decks with 60 cards, but if you add 20 more cards, you're less likely to draw Sanctifier and Vec. <laughs> Ooh. All right, third match. Let's go, you months. You months. You months. You months. You months. Like, I won game one, which is like, which felt unwinnable. And then I lost the other two games where I functioned very well. 
That kind of tells you a lot about my opponent deck. Such high variance for that deck. You just have to make double pair. And that's it. You want to play Solitude over Bolts? Hmm. Might not be a bad idea, Trinka. Might not be a bad idea. Yeah, so it's just over bolts. Yeah. He also works with Yorin. I don't know. I guess in this... Yeah. Die, come on! What's going on here? Is somebody just matching into me and then refusing to play? I have person in the chat. Are you doing that? You don't want to, be, you want, you don't want to play against me? I respect that. The deck is scary. I would also not want to play against myself with this deck. Double pair? Yeah, I just need to make a double pair of, uh, you know, Persist plus a Margrave. Alright, Bayen. Okay, then, this is a hand of Magic the Gathering. Should you play Inquisitor Captain? Definitely. Inquisitor Captain sick. But it's not legal on Magic Online or in Paper Magic. It's only an alchemy card. Magic Online is a digital only client. So Okay, let's go Cavern of Souls. Name human. Play Champion. Champion F8. Opponent doesn't have any companion. Oh, that's Belcher. Gone in Belcher. Gonna name Goblin Char Belcher. Now I'm gonna go a recruiter. Adios, Belcher. Yeah. I'm gonna go recruiter. Now we have to name the, the other piece of the combo, which is uh, uh, the. Um, what's it called? The Pyromancer Ascension. Shadow's go smashing. Huh. Shadow's go smashing costs a lot of mana. I don't know. They make a name like we're across the path, uh, but maybe my opponent. Like, my opponent goes across... I'm gonna go Recruiter for another Mage here, I think. Mm. And, um, I mean, that, we'll see what they do. If they go across the path, I can name the... The Fire... The, the, the Wheel of Fortune. Five. The Ascensio loop is not doable on the Geo. What? Why? <laughs> How would you say that? You think you thought about Thalia? Maybe that was better. Carte Dom, if you're interested in checking it out. You can go to my exclamation mark YouTube, to my YouTube channel, and uh, I made a Belcher video where um, you know, we won in uh, several different ways, even by casting uh, the, the draw of seven cards, what's called. So, so the blue card here. All right, anyway, opponents are probably go over across the path. Oh, my repose. Okay. Hmm. What are you about to cast here? Shadows go smashing on my mage? Picked up another one. Hmm. 
Do we want a cow called me Char Belcher? Did I name it right? Okay, to go across the path. Uh huh. Okay, this is um. Again, if you're interested in knowing well what's going on on my opponent's side, I made a video with my opponent deck, uh, I want to say a couple of weeks ago, maybe. So um, now we can either... All right, so this is their deck. And now I can either name Reforge the Soul Eli, do you think I should name her Forge the Soul? Or just kill them? Six? Oh yeah, I have lethal. <laughs> Never mind, I have lethal. The Lightning Bolt. Champion of the Parish on top of my deck. Uh, graveyard. What's on top of your deck? A Thunder Timber Symbiosis. Mm hmm. Mugs of the Moon. Not bad. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna go image. Sorry, metal mage naming. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. I name her Forge the Soul and then attack for seven. And bolt you. Hello, Phil Helmut MTG. Welcome, welcome. Good morning. You did three, Bayern. And then, boom, the unexpected. No, come I can see the game. All right, yeah, I guess they put on top of Forge the Soul. All right, here we go, the wings, exclamation mark. All right, let's go. This, this. This Sanctifier and Vec, no bueno, no bueno. Alright, let's take out Magus of the Moon as always. Luke27, thank you for the sub. For the feast month of sub. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it a lot. Alright, what do I remove here? Mm hmm. I like the FUT, I like the Fairy. Oh, Sanctifier and Vec. Some other bad cards. Well, Chami Prince is not good, so yeah, that's it. Adelina also maybe not amazing, since I want to lock my opponent down. I go, turn three. Yeah, no, I think Adelina is not amazing in this matchup. Thank you, thank you for the sub to Luke. Ether Vile. Mm. All right. It's reasonable hand. If it wasn't for Thala, it would have probably mulliganed, but let's keep. Good morning, Lords Miggle. When are you roughly switching to Arena? Uh, after I finish this league, I'm currently in the third match. There's five in a league, so we could assume an hour ish. Yeah, exactly. Ragavan is interesting. I know, Matt, man. I was playing against uh, Ragavan with her across the path, and it's strange. Thank you, thank you, Lord Smigla. I'll be... Okay, let's go. The Mulligan 2-6 start with a top land. Ooh, champion to do the dream start. Turn 1, Vial. Turn 2, Vial in champion, Thalia. Boom. Ah, so many good memories at the start. So many good memories. This is one of the 20,000 art of Thalia, Garden of Three, but pretty rare in paper, but very common on Magic Online since I remember it was given to like every account during like Community Cup thing, I remember back in the days when they were giving free stuff. 
the golden days of magic when free stuff were plentiful. You might not believe this, you might not believe this, but back in the days, they used to mail cards, like actual mail, like a cryptic command, the damnation, wrath of God, in your mail. You just opened the mail, and Wizards of the Coast gave you free rares, foil, text less, like shit like that. Now, the only thing they mail you is uh, the tax document at the end of the year. Which I appreciate it, because that makes uh, the tax things a little bit easier. All right, let's go Champion Thalia. And your turn. No one has ever beaten this dart, I agree. A favorite freebie from Magic History. What's a freebie? It's a, you mean story? Do, 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 do. This is like, I don't take a screenshot because this is, this is such a good start. The previous screenshot I took is uh, when I sent to Eli the screenshot to tell him to go to come on the stream. The stocks document apply for you in Italy. Yes, I, I don't know what I was, how am I supposed to answer this question. Uh, what did you do, do, do? Top lane, go. Okay. All right, let's draw something meaningful, please. Melly Mage, Caverna delle Anime. Hmm. Hmm. What people think, what people think, what people think. Should I go just Adelina and close my eyes? I'll do that. I'll do that. Adelina, close my eyes. Best of luck to you, opponent. I wish you many spells. Because we have wear tier if they just land the Belcher. So I don't want to kill this treasure token. And then, like, the next turn they're dead, probably. This is, like, roughly 20 to 20 damage in two turns. The humans get two counters because the token of Adelina is a human. I mean, obviously, I can have like the two mana one damage to Talia here. The Spike Field Hazard. Need feet? I don't think that works. They need to. Yeah, no, they don't have it. I mean, they have a violent too. That must be scary. Could be anything. Ah! Why didn't you do this in your turn? I could have had like a freaking Talia's Lieutenant now it blow you out. But guess what? The Pangu doesn't have it. Alright, take five. Or I can Phantasmal Image too would have blow you out here because I copied the Thalia in response. Okay, so I could be dead if they go like a couple of rituals into the thing. Ah, oh, they take three damage. That's scary. No, I just go over across the path. What's that? How much? Oh, fury. Okay, okay, we could have died. We could have not dead yet. Sure, sure. Adelina takes the dust, but we have another one, thankfully. All right, two cards in end. All right, not yet. Not the worst, not the worst. File goes up. If I have another human here, champion can become a 7-7. Seven, seven. Come on, any human. I am a no quello. Uh, is that fine, though? Yeah. So, I had three Adelie and I drew them in the top, like, I don't know, 80 cards. I played 80 cards and you freaking three out of the three. All right. So if I can play Adeline, the humans become a 7-7, seven, seven, I can just buy another one. Yeah, I think it's all right. Yeah, I think it's all right. So I attack, 
the champion becomes a 6-6 six, six. if they if they block it I can violate another human so maybe it's just too scary for them to do so if they just block a human token they take 7 down to 5 they don't block wow sure not even the human token <laughs> all right you take a go to four I mean, I have on three and I just cast a three drop. That must be scary. Although, is my opponent scared? Are you a scared opponent? Are you scared? Please be scared. They have three cards. Even if they cast for cross the path, they're dead. So they have to do like, I don't know, get out here and now. You don't play Belcher if you're scared, right? You, you play humans if you're very scared though. Humans gamers, historically the scariest. Bayen. As always. Fona <laughs> said, as always, thanks for the lesson, man. Good GG's. <laughs> All right, Yuri Grande wins. We're 2 1. I'll take a bathroom break. Be back in one minute. Don't go anywhere, okay? Hola. Hola. Ah. Buy followers, primes, and viewers. That's a good business. Good business. Good night, South Trinica Squad. What's my favorite card? That's. Um, I used to say Bloodbred Elf, but now I say Teferi or Dominaria. Actually, no. I really say the, thing, the, quite, the answer. Teferi Time Rebel is my favorite card. Furbies are things they give out for free. Like they used to give out PT t shirts, bags, or Street 7 school gear. Mm. Do I have a favorite freebies? I think the packs. Yeah, it must be the packs that the Wizards gave you at the PT, because then you like immediately draft. That used to be led on uh, Thursday. You do the PT registration and they give you the boosters, three boosters. And like uh, immediately after the PT registration, you fire up a draft with whoever with the three boosters that they give you. That was, that was, I like that.
Okay, Professor French. She's in Professor Black. Okay, my hand is... That is a curve. That is a curve. It occurs to me that this end is a curve. One, two, three. Let's go. Godless Shrine. Is this another... Is this another... Reanimator Gamer? Block Ripped. Dolty Void Walker. Okay, interesting. Dolty Void Walker is interesting. Vio. Hmm. I think I don't want to play the Vio. I think I want to play the Thalia here. I'll get uh, blue for sure. Blue and what? Blue and red with the steam vents? Nah, I think I'll get blue and white. No lures, though. That's true. No lures. Strange. Maybe they have a... Lilian of the Veil? Do people play for money in the split registration? It depends. It depends. It depends. Some, sometimes you play for 10 euro. But usually you just play for the cards because you're like doing like, I don't know, one one match and then leave, and leave the cards. Because again, like they were for free. So I don't know. I felt that... Uh, it was very much light. Uh... Yeah, so they went double, double Doughty Void Walker. I can just go Adeline and attack for actual a million damage. Or I can go Champion Charming Prince. Nah, let's go Adeline. This is so much damage. So much damage here. I can't cast anything because of the Thalia. This is 7 damage. You get eight. Remember the can't block. I was never a big like uh, you know money draft um, money. Like sometimes at the end maybe I remember we we're doing for like twenty euro. I remember a, a, a team draft. It was me, Avier, and somebody else. I don't know. There was like Debbie Williams and Drew Cunio. I think it was me, Avier Cunio. I don't know. We just got recruited by like some Americans. But I don't exactly remember how how it went, honestly. I remember that we were the, the hole closed, so we had to play at the floor on side of the hole. But I don't remember exactly how it went, honestly. I don't remember, I don't remember which PT it was. I'll ask Javier afterwards. Put it with a main phase grief. And then Fury. Pitching crooks, huh? Hey, and you kill Adeline. Poor Adeline. She has been uh, she has been killed uh, multiple times by by Fury today. Was Kalk there? I don't think so. I once like rare drafted a thing, and then they didn't give me the card. Not even joking. Like, I rare drafted, uh, I think it was Ur or stuff like that, and they just kept the cards. Because <laughs> it was during, like, a PT, uh, I, I don't know, was it like Team Series? Um, anyway. Opponent uh, kind of destroyed me. I thought it was winning, but. Oh! Another Adeline comes up. Hmm. Hmm. A nine life. They have no cards in hand, but they can just. Uh, get a uh, recruiter here if they want. Well, uh, oh, you own it. Look at that chat. Charming Prince. It doesn't say you control, but you own. That's a very powerful ability. You rarely see this thing coming, you know, being relevant. But we already own her out, Adelina. Baham. Dame. 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 It comes to play at the end of the turn, unfortunately, so we don't get the 1-1. One, one. Wow, they conceded. Boom, just like that. Just like that. Charming Prince is lethal. Do 
because this deserves another screenshot because it's pretty funny. Bam 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 bam. You opened so many flip jaces when it was hundred. Oh no. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, two wheels challenge. I remember that thing. I'll drain bowl career. All right, what am I playing against? The red black. Uh, all right, so let's bring in all the protection from red black cards. <laughs> we have six cards that say on them a protection from red and the black. Must be they must be good in this matchup. Uh, Lavinia, it's very good too because they can't cast uh, Fury or Grief with no mana. E Magus of the Moon as always sucks. Maybe Sancto Pelato. Yeah, Sancto Pelato must be alright. I just take out the classic here. Hmm. Shall we for Pega Prince? Not running Mantis Rider. Yeah, running Adeline. I, I can't I can't understand why. Yes, I'll take out the, the Melee Mage. And uh, what else? Maybe one Ragaban. I'll take out one Ragaban. One Ragaban out. Definitely a card that you can, you can do without in this deck. I'm not saying it's bad, it's just saying you can do without it. Mm, one lander on the draw. I can't keep. Keep. Bottom of bolt. Let's go. I can't keep because my opponent plays like probably this curse spell, Plentiful. Not only do they have Grief, uh, Malachi Rebirth, stuff like that, they also have probably Thought Season Inquisition. Or maybe not, I don't know. Okay, you do nothing here, sure. I'm gonna get uh, White Blue, or anything here. Because I, I wanna cast Thalia, probably fetching four planes, so I get like Steam Vents, yeah. That was, that was very hard to fetch for Steam Vents, let me tell you. It wasn't easy to fetch for Steam Vents. It required a very small brain, which we ended up finding at the end of the turn. That's good. That's good, Mango. So it's important to, you know, find a wrong line. So that you can tell the, stream, the, the viewers to avoid them. Alright, lesson learned. If we play freaking six of those, you just don't fetch for... Wow. You pitch Crackling Doom? Crackling Doom, chat? Uh, seen this, I haven't seen Crackling Doom in a while, let me tell you. Alright, I got four cards. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ooh, and Dying Malice gives it a plus one plus one counter, so it doesn't die to Bolt. Hmm. Tarkaputan, if only I could cast this. If we, all of this wouldn't have happened. All of this wouldn't have happened. Alright. Let's hope they don't have a prismatic ending. Please no prismatic ending or crackling doom, I guess. That's also that's also could be the thing they could have here. Last time I've seen crackling doom was in standard. <laughs> There's a deck called Mardu Green, which was both playing Crackling Doom and Siege Rhino. Also, actually, Jeskai was playing uh, Crackling Doom. The Dark Jeskai. That. I think came second to the PT. I believe. Let's pull this. Oh, you have uh, Ephemerate? Okay. Adelina. Uh huh. Don't attack with her. Um, definitely going Lavinia, right? 
so that it can cast Ephemerate. And I don't think I'm gonna crack the canyon. Hmm, I might crack the canyon. I cracked the canyon? Yeah. I'll leave this back to block the fury. So if I'm already gets countered by Sanctifier by Lavinia. Because they spend no mana to cast a spell. Flip Jace? Yeah, it's just not good. Or do you play? Yeah, that puts me to 13. They have three cards in end. They pass. Alright, draw a card. Bolt. Drop. Um. Mm -mm. Can go Island. Adeline. Then I can attack, I feel like, with this. No, maybe not. You ephemerate. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything here. So, resolves. You kill Adeline. No attack. I think I want to kill Dothy Void Walker, not Fury. Hope no more Ephemerate. Okay. Nah, Rebound gets countered. Draw. Ooh, image, very good. Actually, what do I image here? Maybe I image the Fury, actually. I was going to image the, the Sanctifier, but I think I want to image the Fury here. So I start attacking. Then I get back your and hopefully they don't, they don't draw grief. They might they might have a grief here easily. Yeah, I think I'm actually not doing anything. Because they, they probably have a grief. I have six ten damage. <laughs> okay. Dying Malice on my card. Alright, you got eight. Get back your ear. Hello, Jordan. Blue White Drake Haven in the side event. Was it Vegas? Nice to meet you. Let's keep my chat in English if it's possible. Thank you. All right, the two cards in the end. They might cast Fury. <gasps> no, no, Cesare, King Caesar. All right, so this card doesn't have a text at the moment. Oh, there it is. It's our picture at the moment. Maybe it was better if it didn't have it. Anyway, uh, it's a three-five double strike. The three five double strike that goes back to end. GG. Everyone needs tests coming into Italy starting now. Yeah, I think it should. I think it should see a librarian because it was very weird to me. So I went to Portugal. 
and uh, I needed a, a COVID test to come in in Portugal, which is totally reasonable in my opinion. In Portugal, they have this thing, which is insane for us, where you can get a test for free. You can get COVID tests for free in Portugal. In Italy, it costs 20 or 25 euros. So, I mean, that's already like a big difference. And then like I traveled to Germany and Italy on, on the airplane and they never asked me anything, just the COVID vaccine. But you know, you, know, you, can, you can easily get... COVID even if you have the vaccine. I was very surprised that you didn't have the test. And the test is like a free thing. You just you just do it. I'm very surprised that you didn't need any any um any tests whatsoever of like traveling into planes. You know, I really wish I really wish you had you, you, we, we needed to do the test. In New York is free full of free COVID test vans. Yeah, I mean, it's just a way the country wants to allocate the resources. I guess Italy prefers that pharmacy gets 20 euro every time. Which is fine. I mean, pharmacists need to eat at the end of the day. But as a result, people just don't get enough tests when they do. You're getting booster vaccines? Yeah, yeah, the third doses, you mean? Yeah. My family all got the, the third vaccine already. But vaccine doesn't mean that you can get the, the COVID. That's my pretty obvious at this time. So you can still get it. So you got the third one today. Yeah. Yeah, Jura, that was a cool photo. He got like a thousand likes on Twitter, which is pretty sick. <laughs> just just a photo of him from uh, like when I was 10 years old. I don't know if you got, I don't know if you saw it. I'll, I'll post it here. This photo of uh, I was this I was this one year my my mom my mom f like found it yesterday and I actually managed to take a picture at the photo take a picture at the photo and uh, also it came up very well so yeah the steel wall the pirate spell bomb. I think I think uh, this friend of mine had a ghost ship here. I believe this is a ghost ship. Then I recognize Hydro Scaric, Hydro Hydro Hydroblast. Sorry, Hydroblast. And I think this is a pacifism, the one with uh, the angel in the art. That was you know. I also love the the basic because everyone had basic lands because of course just back in the days I didn't have like gates or stuff like that. All right. Round number four, my hand is no buena. Ship it back. This hand is muy buena. Let's keep it. That is a part of this album, yeah. All right, I think I bought him an island. Yeah. Yeah, I, I talked to him yesterday, actually. Because his, his, his youth deck used to be burn wall. He had, he had walls and burn spell. That was his strategy, I remember. My strategy at the beginning was um, mono white, my what the, like mono white angel, with lots of life gain because he was playing burn. So I had like the the spell bomb in white, and I also had a two mana one one flyer that regenerates an artifact. And we obviously didn't know the rules, so I was like sacrificing the spell bomb to gain five life and regenerate it, which obviously is not a play you can make. But. So that, that was my deck. I basically just one white life gain or so. Okay. All right, human. I think I want to go lieutenant champion. Yeah. I'll make both of them 2-2 two, two here. I think the card was uh, Ptero Phantasma. I'll check it out. I'll check it out in English. Yeah, it was this guy. Pteron Ghost. Two mana, one one. Flying, sacrifice Pteron Ghost, regenerate target artifact. And I was regenerating the spell bomb, but you gain five life. That was my that was my combo. Yeah, yeah, it makes right permanent tapped. Yeah. Alright, this one gets a counter. 
opponent maybe has the 1-1 one, one flying uh, Coatl, which isn't great at the moment. I can go... No, I'll just play champion pre-combat. Attack with both. And then I'll uh, play Charming Prince to Scry. I could blink this. I think I want to Scry though. I want to deal as much damage as I can. Scry to F6. Phantasmal image. Huh. Um, I guess I'll uh, keep the image. I don't want to land though. Uh, yeah, I don't want to land though. Regenerate enchantment my opponents. Have them in combat? I I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> Alright, do they have the quadril in the fjord? It looks like they do because they fetch island. Yeah, okay. They only have one. One's no permanent. Wow, iteration. That's weird. Do you find uh, Solitude Ephemerate? Ooh, Burning Pool Untapped. Uh huh. Sure. You find Fury. Do you concede? Okay, they might easily have a Fury here, chat. Sorry, I mean a Solitude here. I draw a Phantasmal Image. And now, I guess I just go to combat with all. And see how things unfold. They play a... a so they play a Solitude here. Pitching Dovin's Veto. Mm. I can uh, kill my point in a couple of ways. Uh, one of which is uh, Phantasmal Image coping Charming Prince, blinking this, so that if they have uh, another Solitude, I think I'm 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 in the best shape. I'm in the best shape because if I go Image copy Talis Lieutenant, it's still lethal if they don't have anything. But if they have another Solitude, uh, yeah, I think it's better to just go um, Phantasmal Image. Hoping this. Alright, good game. They don't have another solitude. Okay. You were reflecting Death Terror with no combo. See the arts of the box of New Kamigawa. Rats with, uh, rats with bike and katanas. Cool. Cool, I can now sponsor the katana's leaves uh, much better if they have actual katana and magic cards. All right. Ooh, they bring back the wanderer. Nice. Yeah. The one maybe Anka, maybe Teyo too. Okay, so I'm playing against uh, four color. I haven't noticed. Does did my opponent have Yorian? I actually didn't didn't notice. Maybe I should have paid attention to that. All right, Lavinia always comes in. Uh, I'll take out Sanctifier and Vec. Take out Deputy. Speaking of Deputy, the Rhinos disappeared. Huh? The Rhinos deck, you remember? Rhinos, Living Gen, they were so popular. So popular. They just completely disappeared from Magic. I haven't played against a Cascade card in forever. Strange. Strange how did that happen. All right, let's go. Up a game, we might be 4-1 in this league. Yeah, they have 80 cards. Yeah, should definitely pay attention to that thing because if you play 80 cards, you're most likely going to play a control deck. 
Uh, I think I'm keeping this hand. It's not great, but I feel like against control, you want to be stuck on land, on two lands. So keeping the one land there isn't the worst. Of course, if they go prismatic ending on my vial, it's game over, but it's the life I chose to live. I lost this game, uh, the first, you know, the first game that I played, I basically lost uh, keeping a hand like this. So. Yeah, they're thin and smooth. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see if they have a exile spell. They don't. But they have a ran in six, which is not that easy to deal with. Land for Mango? Land. Ah. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll win this game. If I had a land, I would have gone Champion Melly Mage, naming Prismatic Ending. That would have been good. They have seven cards in end. The explosives don't want it. I'll concede. All right. The final game of this league, and then we play a Spero in the chat. In Historico. Uh, I don't want to make any changes. I like the Magusies. Maybe a Reflector Mage isn't great. Is Sanctu Prelate good? Uh, probably not. Let's go. You have memories of your first boost to draft. <laughs> I don't. Uh, once my aunt brought me to, um, uh, there was like a children event, which was Ice Age with like the precon deck, the one that had like source to plowshares, the ice, the Ice Age, uh, sorry, the Cold Snap, the Cold Snap precon pre-releases, or I don't know, it was like a children game, but. I remember having the cards, but I don't remember anything about the actual game itself. All right, we have a um, we have a monkey on the play. Yeah, I should definitely stop keeping those one landers. Those one landers are those one lander vial are cursed. You just never draw the second land and you die. We even have snap bolt, so we can leave the dream maybe. Agaban. Come on, don't have an answer. Just don't have an answer. Don't don't play prismatic. Nah, you have prismatic ending. My bad. Okay, I'll accept it. Let's go. Let's continue. I just name uh, Ryan and Six because that card is unbeatable. Brandon Six. Actually, they went for Hallowed Fountain, so they probably don't have Brandon Six. Hmm, what should we name? They don't have Brandon Six, I believe. I don't think I want to name Sochi because they have a Lavinia to name Sochi. Maybe just name Prismatic and then we. Fairy, because I also play the fairy, so I don't want to name it. Yeah, maybe I should name the fairy. Yeah, it's just one in 80 cards in my deck, so. <laughs> Spreading seas. Okay. You definitely draw these lands, porco cazzo, però. I'll go Lavinia so my opponent cannot cast Fury or Solitude anymore. But, you know, don't feel great. At the Fury now would be annoying, of course. But so would have been like a prismatic ending here, so it's not that I named like a random card. Okay, they go iteration. If I draw a, a red land eventually, I think I can kill my opponent with Bolt's not Bolt, because now I go... Okay, now I go Tuzz Lieutenant, that's six damage, and that point is on six, and I have Bolt's not in end. 
Redland. Redland. Hmm. Now I think I want to cast this here. I just die for six. Put my point on six life. Remember, they can't cast Solitude or Fury because of Lavinia. I don't have red mana at the moment, but my opponent is definitely facing off pressure. Let's see, top land, so they don't have Supreme Verdict. They pass with three cards in hand. Red land. Mm, it's not all red land. <sighs> Do I want to go Phantasmal Image pre-combat? Because that could copy Talis Lutin, and that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Do they have counter spells? I don't think they have counter spells. I just don't really have much to do, honestly. So I think going Phantasmal Image makes sense. What is the worst I can do? Just the 1 1 flash? You want to go Cavern Illusion? Yeah, I mean, I think I'll do that. Just because. No, I don't think so. Because if they go Spreading Seas here, then I don't have white mana. Do I care about it, though? Probably don't. Maybe they have. Like, if they have counter spell, they die. It's a game over if they have counter spell. So, I'll just go probably humans here. And cast image. And see what they do. Okay. I'll copy lieutenant. Then attack. If they go 1-1 one, one, flash guy, they die. So they need to have like something else. Remember they can't cast anything for free. Uh-huh. They're still dead. Pot to exile maybe? No, I win. Yes. Yes, chat. You cast this.